My doctors still kind of stand back and say, somebody was with you because you should have died. I found that I had a heart condition when I got pregnant with my third child. I had to have immediately have a pacemaker implanted at uh, 23 weeks pregnant. They thought I'd lose the baby, um, but I didn't. Four years ago, I didn't pray. <laughs> I didn't particularly believe there was a God. Um, and I wasn't interested either. I had three gorgeous kids. I wanted to take them to Sunday school because I went to Sunday school when I was a little girl and I loved it. And um, so I went to a local church and uh, enrolled the kids in Sunday school and they asked me if I believed in God and I said absolutely not and they were just lovely. And then about nine months later after being in church a little while, I actually just, I, I found that actually I did believe in God. I saw some amazing things and I thought actually yes, there is definitely a God. And um, you know, when I needed him, he was really there. I know my whole church was praying and um, they thought I'd be in hospital for a few days and I was out in less than 24 hours. Three months later, um, I immediately became very poorly after the birth. Uh, from the birth, I dripped a hole in my heart. And again, people just prayed and I prayed for myself over and over again and just asked God to keep me alive for my three children. I was out of hospital in less than five days. I should have been there nearly six months recuperating. Um, and then a year later, I was diagnosed with a rare kind of cancer. And um, again, a really, really scary time. And I don't think I prayed as much to swore at God at the time. And uh, again, they, they didn't think I'd recover properly. Um, but prayer is amazing. <laughs> and God will always answer. And I was out of hospital in total. I was only in hospital six days. And that included two operations, two blood transfusions, two days in ICU on a ventilator. I pray every day now which I wouldn't have dreamed of doing four years ago. Prayer is really like a conversation with a friend. When things go wrong, there isn't the panic anymore. Just tell him what's going on in your life and, and wait for him to answer. I mostly pray in the shower. It's the only five minutes I get to myself. And I just wouldn't have believed that he would have ever answered my prayers.